when we sort of broached the idea to the Vatican, the first look at the car, and they said, ha, ah, this is so similar to uh, the Pope's own car. He used to drive a, a Fiat 500. It's a lot smaller than this, but it looks like that. It's quite cute, right? There are certain specifications that they needed because of his physicality. And one of the things that we, we really wanted to drive home the point was if we could have a car that was made in Singapore, that would be great. And uh, if it were an electric car, perfect, because you know it's uh, consistent with what the Holy Father has been writing about. The Vatican uh, has emphasized the sustainability in recent years. This aligns closely with Hyundai Mobile Group's move forward a sustainable future. So we are honored to support the Vatican's goal of transitioning all official vehicles to electric by 2030. So the automatic choice came to Hyundai and we decided to approach them. We think naturally the, the most uh, obvious uh, choice for this car going forward is to be placed in some sort of a heritage center. You know, the Hyundai folks uh, have been very helpful. They, they're saying that, you know, they can help us put the car into a long-term display mode, remove the batteries and things like that.